question. Another question I've been dying to ask a black man is about the passport bros. Um, and it kind of to what you were saying, like, I feel like a, a lot online that is talked about, you know, the, you know, I don't, I don't want a single mom. I don't want an overweight plus size thick woman. She got to be fit, feminine, friendly. But then you go out in the real world and you see the majority of women who are married, what they look like. So things don't always match up. Another thing that doesn't match up to me is the passport thing. Because a lot of black men online will say, get your passport, go to these other countries. I I'll totally understand why they say that. It just doesn't seem like a lot of men are doing that. It seems like a lot of men who say they, they're going to do it don't. Or they're just, they're just saying it. But these are the same men dating black American women, <laughs> you know. And so I'm just kind of curious, you know, what you what are your thoughts of uh, this idea of black men getting their passports, going to these other countries, you know, for women who are, quote, more traditional minded? Um, do you think that it is a solution? Because, you know, of course, there are going to be success stories, but then you also hear uh, like recently, a couple guys who go, you know, they go over there and they get killed. Like things happen to them because they are vulnerable. And, you know, and I know that, you know, you might be going over there for the femininity, but those women have their own agenda. Those, you know, those women, you know, don't think that, you know, it's just one sided. Like they have their own agenda, whether it's, and I don't mean to say that they're all, you know, obviously some of them really probably do love the men. But some of them want to come to America. Some of them want a man with more money. So don't, you know, you might be thinking, oh, I'm really gaining something here, not realizing that you actually are putting yourselves in harm's way. Um, so so I just, I'm curious about, you know, your thoughts on the passport bros. Uh, I think the passport bros, honestly, is just kind of like with anything. It's, it's so many different levels to it. And I think social media leans towards whatever's going to get them the most views. And so I think you always have to look at it from that perspective. But I think that, you know, you know, because I've talked a little bit about the Passport Bros on my site. And I believe, again, you have to break it into pieces. So when it comes to, I'm going to be honest, when it comes to the men that I will consider like mid working class all the way down, um, I don't think they would have a good chance being Passport Bros. And I do think many of them are some of the loudest uh, people that talk. Um, and because I think they're in the most pain. And so pain generally means, you know, you get a little bit more attitude, like we talked about earlier about the scared cat. Um, and so I think that, you know, that builds into that. So I think many of them, it'll be very difficult for them because it's not just them trying to go overseas as far as money is concerned, because in, in many countries, let's be real, the American dollar multiplies. So a man can be here making $30,000 and it can be the equivalent in another country of him making six figures. Mm -hmm. So it's easy for these men to talk this way because they see that they can go over there and they're going to get a lot of attention. But the problem is uh, that those women are traditional, and so they're looking for traditional men. And just like you said, if these men are trying to avoid the pitfalls, they have to be traditionally uh, masculine. And so being masculine means that you're a protector, a provider, and a leader. And many men don't know how to be those things. Mm. And so they're out here trying to figure out, okay, how do I become that? And it's okay, again, if you're on that journey. We talk about these journeys, you know. A man could be on the journey to becoming a protector, provider, leader. Anybody can learn to do it, but you have to be willing to put in the time, the effort, and the understanding of how to do it. Okay, but if it's a totally different thing for a man to say, okay, well, I, I want this life, but I'm not willing to put in the work. And it was kind of like what you were saying earlier, even with women, there's a lot of women that say they want one thing, but they're not willing to put in the work. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have to think about that. Now, once you really start talking about the heavy duty passport bros, so I'm gonna be honest with you, I know two passport bros. Mm, okay. okay, and they are the real deal. No problem. Okay, both of these men make close to six figures. Um, both of them are, you know, highly intelligent. And both of them talk about how they get, you know, looked past by not all, but a lot of American black women. Mm -hmm. Because the main reason why people are looking for traditional is they're looking for a woman who wants to have a man to lead her, who wants to say, I want to have children and I just want to be the stay at home mom. You know, they're looking for women to, to say that. And it was really funny because I was talking to a friend of mine the other day about it. And I'll be honest with you, she actually got a little upset because she didn't like that. She didn't, because in her vision, of, of black men, 
they should be okay with her having this nine to five job and her pushing her career and things like that. But what I'm always saying is instinct driven women, i.e. what some people might call masculine, which on my channel I call instinct driven. Those are the women that generally want that life. But heart based women generally don't want that life in the first place. All right. But I also, you know, let, let pass for bros know that if you go overseas, OK, there are instinct driven women overseas. They're everywhere. They're not just here in America. Really? OK. And so what happens is if you're not as a man walking in your true masculinity, I don't give a dog on tooting. If you're making a million dollars a year, you're not going to be able to go over there and find that traditional woman and have her to treat you OK. Because she's looking for you to be a certain way. She's looking for you to line up with yeah. certain things that she's used to. Yeah. And I'll be honest with, you know, many of your, you know, viewers, it, about 50% of the women I've dated, I'm just being real, have been foreign. Interesting. And, yeah, and they love me because I remind them of their dad. I remind them of the men in their country. Okay, because that's how I walk. And I've had several of them tell me that they've tried to date American black men before, but they were not able to do it um, because they found the American black men to be childish or the, the men wouldn't do what they were supposed to do, blah, blah, blah. But then when they find me, I don't have the, you know, the, <laughs> the male chauvinistic side that comes with a lot of foreign men. But I still walk with that bravado that they're used to. You know, as far as being that true masculine energy. And so, yes, I do think you're going to have a lot of men, you're just being honest, that are going to do the passport bro thing. And I, but I think the ones that are going to be successful, to be honest with you, they will be successful in America. Mm -hmm. But the thing about it is, it's about how many women are they coming into contact with that are actually giving them the woman energy that they want. Like, like you say, are they, are these women trying to be, um, feminine? Are these women putting their husband or their future husband over their job? Are these women going to put their family over their job? Are these women going to care about their appearance? Are these women going to care about the things that these men want them to care about? And I think that is the issue. And I do believe that a lot of women, uh, a lot of men find these uh, women, cause I'm gonna be honest with you. Again, we never really like to talk about this, but you are an example of this, is there are a portion of black women that are married. Mm -hmm. They're married, so they found it. They were able to do it. Yeah. And when I generally run into most women that are married, I'm gonna be honest with you, and like I was saying before, and it, again, people don't like to, to use this analogy, but most of those women tend to be a little bit more in the feminine category mm -hmm. than the masculine. And the way I always look at it and the example I always use, but your people haven't heard this example is like I said, think about it from a man's perspective. He is basically trying to find a certain type of woman. So he goes into the grocery store and we're going to say women are like apples and it's a hundred apples in the little bag. Okay. If he's looking for feminine women, there's going to be 30% feminine. It's going to be 30% thinking and there's going to be 30%, you know, or 33%, I should say, um, masculine. That's just how it is. That's they're going to be equally distributed in this bay, which ones are going to go first? The feminine ones are going to go first. They're the truly 100% feminine, especially if they're attractive. They're going to go first. And then the next one's going to be the next group after that. And then the next group. And then what do we see that are fighting in the dating pool? The mm. women screaming the most. They're the ones that are still masculine. Because those are the ones that were left behind. And so for men that are coming out, see the first thing that they do and again, I know this is going to upset a lot of women, but again, I'm being real because remember, anybody can change. And even from a biblical perspective, the Bible says, do what? Renew your mind. So anyone can change. And I've seen women do it. There was actually a woman that used to hang out with Kevin Samuels, and she talked about how she would walk in her masculine energy, but she decided to walk in her feminine energy, and she did not even think she was attractive. She thought she was literally a five at best. But she was hanging out with uh, Kevin Samuels, Ron Wills. I actually, you know, a huge fan of Ron Wills. Mm -hmm. And uh, her name, I forgot her name off the top of my head. I think it's Michelle somebody. Um, but she ended up getting married. Wow. Because she, she gave up the masculine energy 100%, dropped into the feminine, and boom, within like two years, she was married. Dang. 
So when I say this, I'm not saying that people can't change, you know, a zebra can't change the stripes, so to speak. But the whole concept here is that you have to be what the people are looking for. And, and so when somebody comes into that bay, and I know as a man, I'm just being real. Um, I first thing I'm going to do is do women my age, you know, because I'm in my 40s. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit up low 30s and into the 40s. Oh, these women don't want to talk to me. I'm going to go to mid 30s. Mm -hmm. Oh, these women I can't find. Them, I'm going to go to low 30s. Right. Oh, these women ain't had to write. I'm going to go into the 20s. And see, that's the thing that men can do that women find are very hard to do and they get upset about it. But see, if the man could stop, because I know most men that even date younger, they are, they more than don't, they really don't want to date them that much younger. They really want to find somebody in their age range, but it's like, they still have to have the things that they want. Like I talk, I've talked to two uh, women that were like late thirties recently. And um, both of them did not have children um, were very attractive. Me and them got along. I mean, when I talk about we got along, it's like we got on the phone or wherever, and we were just talking, 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 talking. Like you would think the conversation would never end. And I would, and then it came up about kids because I still want kids, and I'd be like, "Yo, do you want to? You know, um, what do you feel about kids?" Oh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't really want to have kids. And then I'm like, uh, "Well, you don't have to have them through your body. There's things called surrogates. You make six figures." We can just use your money, you know, because, you know, once we get married, it's no big deal. You know, we can live off my salary and then we we'll use your money to the, oh, well, no, you know, I, I just want to travel. I just want to, you know, live in this world and, and enjoy everything. Well, see, as soon as you made that decision, now from me, from that perspective, you're no longer, you know, somebody I'm interested in. Yeah. Okay. So now I got to go to the woman that I'm going to get more of what I'm interested in. Sure. And see, that is part of the passport bro, you know, concept is not just about the femininity side. It's not just about um, whether or not a woman will line up with leadership. It's like the man is saying, I will stay in America if I can get what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. But if it is very difficult for me to get to what I'm looking for, then I am going to be very open to going somewhere else. Sure. Because white men, and I'll be real, white men have been doing this for years. I mean, look at former president Donald Trump. Okay. He is the white male version of the passport bros. Okay. With his wife, mm -hmm. but a lot of black men couldn't do it until about 20 or 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. And so now for the first time, black women have to compete with women from another country. And so for a lot of black women, that's a shocking revelation because they thought the only people they had to uh, compete with was white women. Uh... But see, I've always told any woman, like we said earlier, if a woman is walking with the non-negotiables, as I talk about on my channel, which is, you know, being decently attractive as best as you can, as we always, I've already said, be kind, be supportive. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you're doing those three things and you're walking like a wife, okay. And then you meet only th date and meet men that are walking like a husband, you'll be married just like that. You don't have to worry. The woman don't have to worry about passport, bro. She don't have to worry about this. She don't have to worry about that. And every single time when I run into a woman that has not been able to make that happen, I'll be honest with you. Generally speaking, if I see her, if I have a conversation with her, I know right off the bat why she's not married. Interesting. Yeah, because it shows up. Like I said, is the woman trying to be as beautiful as she can? That's number one. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's an easy thing. And a lot of us see it. You know, you kind of talked about it a little bit with yourself. So a lot of us know what we're supposed to do, but we just, we just choose not to do it. The next thing is, are you being kind? Yeah. You know, when you were on my channel, we talked about the black woman's attitude, you know, and the fact that a black woman will show her attitude to everyone, but a white woman will show it to everyone but her man. Uh, well, <laughs> okay. Then you have the whole thing about support. Are you supportive of the man's dreams? Are you supportive of his wants? Then again, acting like a wife, not putting up every wall because you've been hurt. And I understand the walls go up because you're hurt, mm -hmm. but you got to take these walls down mm -hmm. because now you're dealing with a lot of pain. And so you've got to be open. Like I ran into a, a woman came out one time and she said she would never cook for her future husband. Oh, she said that she, because she had cooked for her last husband and he didn't appreciate it. And she had cooked for her kids. And she was like, she, I'm done. I'm, I ain't never going to cook for a man again. 
<laughs> and so, and I told it straight up. I said, so if God blessed you with a better man, you would treat him worse Dang. than you treated the bad man. And she really didn't have an answer to that. And see, that's the whole problem. You have to take your walls down. Mm-hmm. You have to be walking like a wife. Yeah. Okay. And then after that, after you have all that, you have to pick men that walk like husbands. Sure. And see, again, a, a man that's walking like a husband, he's going to treat you different. He's going to act different. He's going to move different. But I've even said, you know, been in situations, and I've talked about it on my channel, where I have dated women that have literally told me that, first of all, I was different than any man that they had run into. I um, acted like they're, you know, like what they said that they wanted from God. They would pray and say, God, send me this type of man. And then I'm there. I'm right in front of them. They're in my, in my living room. They can't find really anything wrong with me except for two things. You know, that I always tell the women that they're going to not like about me. Um, but they could not find anything wrong. But then they still said, you know what? I don't want to be in this relationship. I'm moving on. Hmm. Because they're not used to not being in a toxic environment. Right. That happens and so, a lot. And, and, and that's the whole thing. A man that has husband energy, you're not in a toxic environment. Everything's easy. Everything's smooth. You're not going to be arguing with him. You're not going to be fighting with him. He's going to take care of it. Yeah. And so now for a lot of women that's never had that, mm-hmm. that's hard. Mm-hmm. That's hard for them because the man's going to want you to do better too because you can't come in with toxicity. Facts. And, and that last part of what you just said, oftentimes women, in this case, black women, interpret him wanting me to do better with him being toxic. You know what I mean? Like, for, for some reason, whatever it is that translate or, or controlling or, you know, or something negative, but it's like, you have to decipher what is him just wanting you to improve versus control or being, you know, whatever, you know, male chauvinist or whatever. Yeah. So I, I find that as well. Um, cause if you, if you say that you want someone to be in the opt their optimal health, you want someone to lose, you know, not necessarily lose weight, but work out, eat healthy, right? That could be interpreted like you're trying to control me and it's not, but the interpretation of that could be that, um, you, you, yeah, Jay, you are just, I got one last question for you and then I'll let you go. I know it's getting long, but and you kind of spoke.